Hey, so we are working today on some, like a timber truss accent for the end of the gables, like on, for the exterior. So one out here on this end, one on the opposite end on the main, big main roof of the house. So that's kind of what we're working on. Um, they're gonna be kind of heavy. I have one built. My wife's actually standing out there, but I get to get the yellow one done. And um, we're, the goal is to try to get up today. Um, but they're a little more stout than I thought, but we wanted them to look beefy. So that's kind of what we're working on. I'm just going to kind of show you how I'm going to do that. So stay tuned. Okay, so we got these cuts done. Um, like I said, actually I put some cleats on the floor because I calculated my first one. But what I did is I snapped a straight line here, and then I measured up... Um, so I took these sheets, what I actually used this floor, which helped. These are four foot sheets, came over to here where the seam is. That means it's eight feet from there and eight feet to there, same point. And I know in every foot, I will get five inches rise on a 512. So if eight feet times five, I think that's 40 inches, right? I think so. And then went from here and then made a mark there and then snapped a line. Um, and then so on so forth and then um, I went ahead and made my cuts 512 there 512 there I know that this is a 67 degree because I found out after um, I put this 4 by 8 up to the 4 by 6's and scribed a line and then duplicated over there and then um, so now I got that degree and then what I did is I found out my center right here, seven foot from that way, seven foot from that way, because this is 14 foot, and then squared it up, and then went ahead and um, scribed a line with these, and um, we got those cuts. So um, I did go with the cedar on the bottom for weight, um, and so it doesn't twist at all, and it's less splitting. Went dug for it on top just because the cost, um, and I don't really need it underneath the roof, but um, we will make it try to look as close as we can with stain. It's all going to get stained. So it might be a little bit of variation, but not much. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue each joint, this one, this one, those. And I'm going to take these long ledger locks and run them up in two here, one here, one there. Probably two there, two there. Probably a few there. So on and so forth. And then actually what I also did, just for a little bit of decoration, is a little bit of a cutoff. I'll add this on after I attach this. Um, and I took a 45 bevel. And I think it looks a little nice and sleek and clean. And then over here, kind of did the same thing. Beveled it this way. I didn't bevel it this way. But um, it hung the tail past because I think it looks a little... A little bit better for me but um, yep I'm gonna get take this out get it um, stained well after I assemble it and then we're gonna put it up just showing you uh, our timber truss we got up I would have liked to film us putting it up but um, a snowstorm is actually coming is called uh, they were calling a squall and we got this one up in the afternoon and what allowed me to put up these pieces of steel and finish the ridge <clears throat> before the snow came but I did one on the other side and during this squall and luckily the snow was like blowing over the roof but literally in the scissor lift um, my tools were getting covered up and I could barely see but anyways this so this is the truss that we did um, it looks really sweet I think and the way I fastened mine is ahead of time I put blocking in here tied to my lookouts um, so I could fasten something in now this uh, has got a little bit of a inset so wherever my blocking was I put some shims as I was doing the soffit um, in those gapped areas because this soffit is like a u-channel so if my block's here, I'd put a shim in here. So when I would take my lag up, it wouldn't push it up too high, if that makes sense. But so what I did 
is I got um, the longest ledger locks I could, um, hardened 10 inch screws. And I came down here. I planned for this ahead of time for the dimensions and stuff. So right here, I actually came in here and I put some caulk and, and put a little bit of a stain in there, but I have a triple two by six block up in there right here so I could fasten them up. So I took a long auger bit and drilled through because I didn't want it to split and then I ran them up. So I ran three here and I ran another one, I think right here and another one somewhere up there. So I ran three spots on each side and um, so I have maybe like 10 ledger locks holding this up, which I'm glad I did. And the reason I put that many in is because it was really heavy. Like really heavy. It was like close to probably 300 pounds. Um, and it doesn't even look that big from the ground. But back here, I think it just looks really sweet. Um, if I was to do it again, I thought... See, I just added this for decoration um, because it's not actually doing anything. This is screwed up to here and this is put back on. And the same thing with these tails. I would have left this down further because it looks great from here. But from down below, it doesn't look quite as proportioned to my opinion. But it still looks really good. And... Um... I have cut full confidence that it should be able to handle the winds here too. So we can get some crazy winds. So anyways, just kind of want to show you up close how it looks. Um, I really like it. It adds a lot. It really pops against this white siding. Really sweet. Yep, so if you guys want to keep following along, hit that like and subscribe button. Till next time.